What is up fellow students? This is the Bohol Island State University's BSCE 1B Group 1. And for today's video, we will be talking about the patterns and numbers in nature of the world. And this is Mathematics in the Modern World. Here are the learning objectives for today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to First, explain what are patterns. Second, discuss why patterns are relevant in the field of mathematics and beyond. And third, evaluate the impact of patterns in various fields of studies and in shaping the world. Patterns. How do we define it? Patterns are regular, repeated, or recurring forms or designs. However, what patterns really are in mathematics? In math, a pattern is defined as a sequence of repeating objects, shapes, or numbers. We can relate a pattern to any type of event or object. A pattern has a rule that tells us which objects belong to the pattern and which objects do not belong to the pattern. Patterns in nature We have here above my big head, snowflake symmetry as it forms, zebra stripes in its skin, Romanesco cauliflower as it grows, our very own Milky Way galaxy as its unique spiral pattern even though it's chaotic, and the last but definitely not the least is the patterns on a butterfly's wing, which is colorful and beautiful. Example number one. For our first example, we have here a pattern of letters with corresponding pictures of my groupmates' beautiful faces. In this example, we have to find the missing object. So, in order to find the missing object, we have to first identify the pattern. Here, you will notice the pattern A, B, C, D, E, F, and then the missing object and letter B. So, we have two possible answers, which is the letter next to F, which is G, or the letter before B, which is A. We can see that G cannot be the answer since it disrupts the sequence of the letters A, B, C, D, E, F. Therefore, we can say that A is the missing object. A is the answer. Next! So let's have example number 2. Which of the boxes comes next in the sequence? Let us first examine the patterns being used here. If we're going to observe, in the first figure, there is a circle in the top right segment and there is a triangle in the bottom left segment. Circle maintains same position in the top right segment for one turn and then is not present for the following three turns. Then, the triangle maintains same position in the bottom left segment for one turn and then is not present for the following two turns. In this pattern, we just remember that the circle will only appear after the three following turns as well as the triangle will be appeared after the two following turns. If we continue using the pattern, we could say that in the next or sixth figure, the circle must not be seen or present since according to the pattern, the circle will not be present for the consecutive three turns and probably be seen at the ninth figure. And then, the triangle should also be not seen or present in the next figure since the pattern said that the triangle will not appear for the following two turns and probably be seen in the seventh figure. So, the next figure would be no circle and triangle being seen. So, the correct answer would be letter B with no triangle and circle present since it will satisfy the given pattern. For the third example, we have three rules consistent in this pattern. We have here a diagonal line, a circle, and a square. The diagonal lines changes direction from top left corner to bottom right corner, then from top right corner to bottom left corner with each turn. So by observing the diagonal lines, we can say that in the next figure, its direction is from the top right corner to bottom left corner so A, B, and C are correct, while D and E will be eliminated. The square moves around corner of the frame in an anti-clockwise direction 
with each turn. In the first figure, the square is in the top left. In the second figure, the square is in the bottom left. And in the third figure, the square is in the bottom right. And in the fourth figure, the square is in the top right. And lastly, in the fifth figure, the square is in the top left. So we can say that in the next figure, the square will be in the bottom left. So we will cancel letter C because the square is in the bottom right. Circle appears on the diagonal line in every third frame with each turn. So we can conclude that in the next figure, which is the sixth figure, the circle will appear. Therefore, the answer is A. So example number four, complete the sequence. So we have here in the sequence, we have four figures and we're currently looking up the fifth figure to come up. So we have here is that there are four rules consistent in the sequence. So the first rule is that the dots appearing in the center is decreasing by one as the sides of the shape is also decreasing by one. And the triangles located in the bottom left corner is flipped sideways while the orange box located in the bottom right corner stays the same. So we have here four choices. The choices A, B, C, and D. So let us do some eliminations first. So as you can see, in the first figure or the choice A, we have a circle which uh, does, does not follow the idea of sides and angles of the shapes and the small triangle uh, located below is redundant to the small triangle located below uh, from the receding uh, figure so so therefore the first choice or the choice a cannot be the pattern or the figure we are looking for so let's go to the third figure so in the third figure we have uh, the pentagon which is already shown in the sample uh, the sample above as you can see so we have the small square and triangles are also in uh, the opposite sides of the bottom part of the box so therefore this figure cannot be the one that we are looking for so let's go to the fourth figure or the fourth choice which has uh, the triangle which is in accordance to the idea of receding or decreasing numbers of shapes, I mean sides and corners of the shapes and the small triangle and the small box, orange box in the bottom corner, bottom corners of the box are in the right place but the, it has a but the, but the placement of the triangle and the dots is in the wrong place so therefore this figure cannot be the one that we are looking for so with all of that we can conclude that the second choice or choice b is our figures because uh, the choice b satisfies all of the requirements to become the next figure we are looking for example number five which box follows the sequence so in this pattern the U-shape rotates by 90 degrees with each turn. From the first figure above, the U-shape opens upward. The second one opens to the right. The third one opens downward. The fourth one opens to the left. Then the last figure opens upward again. So, on the next figure, the U-shape should open to the right. And with that condition, only letter A, D, and E satisfies it. Next, the circle changes position in the U-shape as it appears in each segment with each turn. The triangle appears in same position with the U-shape on each alternate turn. With that condition, only letter D satisfies it. So. Our final answer is letter D. Now, we have prepared these examples for you to try this at home. 
And that's it, fellow students. We hope that you've learned a lot during this lesson, and we hope that your learnings will be utilized in your daily life. Once again, this is the Bohol Island State University's BSCE 1B Group 1, and saying, Math is love. What's up, fellow students? Math is fun, math is love, right? We hope you enjoyed the contents here in Kasaligan Vlogs, most especially the informative and fun mathematical ones. For more contents like this, just click the subscribe button below, ring the notification bell, and share this video. Have a nice day, everyone.